we're Pat and Bronwyn James, and we're the skipper and crew of Stella Australis. At the moment we are in Pancor Marina on the hard stand. We've been on the hard 188 days. Well, today we're really excited because finally we've finished sandblasting and we're moving Stella under the shed where she'll be painted. On the 18th of December, we left Stella in Malaysia and flew back to Australia for Christmas. And then we flew back to Malaysia on the 4th, arriving on the 5th of February, and came back to Pankor Marina. So we flew back ready to get stuck into the work on Stella and we hoped that would take a couple of months and then we'd be off sailing again. When we arrived back in Pankor, there'd been a few cases of COVID, but then on the 18th of March, they locked the country down. Basically, things came to pretty much a standstill. When Stella was on the hard, we chose not to live aboard because we were doing some pretty messy stuff and it's really, really hot here. So we got an apartment in a little um, village called Lamut. And we're currently living on the 12th floor in the Lamut Valley condominium and resort, in a single room apartment. We zip backwards and forwards and it's about a 10 minute drive, so that works out really well. Well, Stella's uh, OVNI 445 aluminium hull and when we bought it, it had some corrosion and we thought we'd take advantage of this time to get the paint stripped off. The main project has been stripping all the paint off of the decks and the coach roof and the cockpit transom. We did a lot of that ourselves and then we got uh, a guy here to sandblast. The next phase of our project is to get Stella painted. Anything else we could do along the way was an added bonus. So by and large there weren't too many restrictions on what we could do except perhaps supplies, but it was hard to get the trades that we wanted doing work. We thought that work would take a couple of months. It's day 188 and we just finished the sandblasting. So when our boat projects are finished, our plan is to sail back to Australia. Ideally, we should leave around the 1st of October, but that's not going to happen. If we can't return to Australia, we will look at our sailing options. We'll finish off all the jobs that we've started and then get back in the water, and depending on weather and wind, uh, maybe go on over to the east coast. Ta-da, it's here and we're relieved. <laughs>